Hello everyone. We are on the BBS Gospel Broadcast Station here in the heart of the city of West Memphis, Arkansas. This is nothing but the Raw Truth Broadcast. I am your host, Dr. Bruce A. Smith, and we have an exciting broadcast today. We have uh, Pastor Robert Milage. Uh, from the Thinking Man broadcast that's going to be on uh, this broadcast today with us. We are just so excited and delighted to be here today to uh, talk about some things for just a, a, a short moment. But I'm going uh, to let uh, Pastor Milage uh, step in and see if you got anything to say before we get into the podcast. Well, uh, it's good to be back home on the air here at BBS Gospel Broadcast Station. We've been out for a little bit and hope each and every one of you, our 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 listening audience, our friends and family uh, here and afar and around the world, it's good to be back with you. And I'm, we're in for an exciting time uh, as Dr. Smith and I discuss some things. And so let's go. All right, we're here today, and we're just excited. We're gonna, well, I'm going to read this verse of scripture, but this ain't necessarily just a, a uh, church broadcast or anything like that. We just want to bring some things out uh, to our listeners today uh, so they can uh, kind of uh, think about this uh, topic and what we're going to be talking about. And what we're going to talk about today is reaching beyond or, or reaching beyond our expectations. See, sometimes when we look at our expectations, our expectations are not high for our lives, are not high as, as what they should be. Sometimes, you know, we, we talk about many things. We talk about uh, our goals, but some of our goals just don't meet where we really need to be. You know, there's people that have even written books, but they haven't even touched a, a pimple of where they should be so they're not really reaching not not only they're uh reaching our expectations but they're not even reaching their own potential because a lot of times we don't know what our potential is but i'm gonna read this one verse of scripture and then we're just gonna go off and take off and talk about this thing and bounce this back and forth uh talking about reaching beyond our expectations and the scripture that i'm going to read today is philippians the third chapter and i'm just read one verse of scripture and it is, it is the 13th verse of scripture, Philippians, the third chapter, verse 13. It says, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. When I think about that, uh, Brother Mileage, and when I think about uh, looking at this thing and thinking about I count it not myself as I have apprehended. I, I haven't gotten uh, to that point or to that level where I need to be. I'm striving, but it's, it's so many times we, we things hinder us and cause us not to reach our full potential. We get uh, stressed out. We get frustrated. We were ready to throw in the towel. Just like tonight, I want to got so frustrated with the system not coming up in the way it's, it, it, it's supposed to. And it gets frustrating. It makes us want to give up sometimes. And that, that will cause us not to reach our potential, not to reach our expectations. Uh, but we have, to, we have to forget those things that, that, are, uh, that, that are in the past. And that, that's one of the hard things that I'm finding that uh, we find a lot of people, it, it's hard for them to drop the things that were in the past and to grab a hold and realize that we can have a bright, outstanding, excellent future, but we have to reach for it. It doesn't matter if you've already written a book or if you uh, 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 um, have a college degree, we still have to reach. We have to, as long as we're on this side, the dirt, we need to be reaching forth to realize that we haven't reached our full potential yet. What you think, man? Where, where we at? Uh, you know, um, in in your opening, I love what you said. And, and, you know, it's amazing. You 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 said people. There are people who wrote books, 
I'm talking about New York Times bestsellers. People that we look at and say, man, they're really doing great in their lives. Right. And yet there's they're they're like, I really don't know who I am. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and when you said that I, I I thought about that, you know, uh and even though we said that, you know, this wouldn't be so much churchy is and we are referencing the word of God because we need Christ in, right. in our lives to help us. You know, and I think it goes back to when God created man and he says, uh, let them have dominion. Mm -hmm. Let them be able to multiply, subdue and all of that. I think all of us have been born with that potential, mm -hmm. whether we realize it or not. It's right. a gift from God. Yeah. We yeah. could be operating in our gift mm -hmm. and still not be in our purpose. Right. That's almost kind of. An oxymoron, isn't it? Mm, yeah. <laughs> when I when I when I think about this, uh, reaching our uh, full potential, reaching our expectation, reaching other people's expectations, uh, it it sometimes it's a difficult situation to be in with some difficult circumstances, not having the focus or the direction that we need. And I uh, know no, it's so easy to just say that uh, we need to. Uh, go and seek out the church, mm -hmm. but we need to uh, get our mindset focused first on anything that we do. If if you don't have your mindset, if your mind is not focused on 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 something, you can't go nowhere. So I, I you know I I don't want to just turn this into a, a podcast today. That only thing we're talking about is Jesus, which we know Jesus is the center of all we do. Right. But there are some out there that are not believers, and we have to understand that we still, no matter what situation or circumstance, we still have to be pushing forward. Uh, yeah, I would, would I would rather that everyone uh, be a Christian or whatever your religion is? I would rather that we could all push in the same direction, but that's not uh, the world that we live in. And and what we're talking about is what you know. This 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 feels uh, just feels right to me that we need to realize that there's a lot of things we can reach for. Even when you think about a child, a child say like a, a kid that plays basketball and he wants to be the best that he can, but he don't know how to get there. Mm -hmm. So so you have to seek out the things that is necessary to get you to that point where you can reach uh, your full potential. But I do realize that we can't reach our full potential and our full potential won't be reached until it's over. Right. So it's, it's right. always an, an, an area or avenue in our life that we can be stretching out and seeking forward to become greater become uh, more, uh, what I say, as, as they say, more awesome, uh, mm -hmm. as to live a life that's as pleasing, not just to me, but also to God and also to my family, because, you know, you want to be able to do the best for your family. If, you can, if you're not striving to reach your full potential, uh, becoming all that you can, you can't even do for your family like you should. You know, absolutely. I, I, you, we were together yesterday and we were talking about it. And I thank God for you not turning uh, BBS gospel broadcast station into a religious format because that's not why we're here. Uh, and, and at the end of the day, we all need Jesus Christ. I know I do. But, you know, it's like we were sharing yesterday. And one of the things I appreciate is uh, in reaching out uh, I know I love a lot of quotations because there's a lot of people out there in the world and, and, and you can reach them and it's kind of like fishing. You can, All fish are not the same. So right. you have to use different nets or different uh, fishing apparatus. Bait. You, bait. That thing, <laughs> that's what I'm looking for. You you can't go catch a sword fish in, in, a, in a little rowboat. You're going right. to be in a lot of trouble. You got to be on a yacht or something. Now you get stuck. You, you, yeah, you're probably going to get stuck <laughs> out there with a fishing pole. Right. But uh, 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 because we want to touch the hearts and the mind of those who are listening, because, because you're listening, 
that empowers us to do what we do and be here. Right. And and the song says, I need you and you need me. And we're all part of God's family. But it, it, we talked about it yesterday. You know, Albert Einstein, I believe it was Albert Einstein said, you can't trust your eyes mm -hmm. when your imagination is out of focus. Right. And, and, and while we're saying that reaching beyond our expectations, the last time we was uh, in the studio, I, I, we had some technical difficulties, but I wanted to share. That was a frustrating uh, thing. <laughs> It really was. Uh, how God blessed me to be part of the Arkansas State University Mid-South uh, Men of Color Conference. Right. And in doing uh, mentoring there, men of color, and inspiring our young men and women to stay in school, get their education. Mm -hmm. I was blessed. God blessed me to get the PBI award. Right. What which, is the PBI award? Uh, pursuing PBI is pursuing beyond imagination. It's it's an organization connected to brother and brother and is to inspire people of color to really fight, to really reach forward, to get that good education that's going to hopefully and prayerfully uh, land you in the career or the job opportunity that you want. Right. And, you know, if it, and it doesn't come without a struggle. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what, this is what the apostle said, brother, I, I haven't apprehended yet, but I'm right. telling you right. what, this is what I'm going to do. Right. And uh, I'm going to forget those things that are behind those things that, that are challenging right now. Mm -hmm. If you pursue, right. you look back five years from now, and and, and 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 where would you be five years from now if you don't give up? Right. Where would you be five years from now if you give up? You know your hope and dream and aspirations. Uh, I was, and I think I shared with you. I was reading the book uh, Push Out by Dr. Monica Woods mm -hmm. about many of our uh, young ladies of color. Uh, being pushed out of the school system, right? Uh, because of, you know, it, it has been stated was called implicit bias. Mm -hmm. You know, you've heard the saying, "People will give you permission to fail," right? And when you when you are living in uh, what is deemed as economically challenging areas, ghetto, this, mm -hmm. that, and the other, right? Family problems, mm -hmm. bad choices in life, right? You know, she was talking about the mind earlier. This can affect you and pursuing or even going back to school to get your GED. Right. Institutional racism is nothing new. We even even see that in the Bible with the Samaritan and the Jewish community. So that's something as real as it is that we can't use as an excuse for saying, I give up. Right. Now, you have the right to give up. Mm -hmm. But you don't have the right to complain about it. Right. You know, when I, when I think about, uh, you talk about you had a right to give up. But it's so important that we as people realize that in order to, to achieve, we have to push, we have to press towards a, a, a certain point. You think of a run. Right, right. The way he wants it at the end, he wants that medal. He wants, he wants to be uh, number one. And so many things that he was pressing for, pushing towards right. to to obtain to be number listed number one, to be listed as the best. Right. And and when I think about uh, we uh, uh, reaching out to our uh, our expectations or the expectations that that are that really is within us that we don't even know about. There are right. things in right. us that we don't know about. If somebody would have ever told me I would be doing something like this, I would have said you're crazy. Uh, I, I, this wasn't this wasn't even in my expectations, but this was in God's expectation. This is what the the cup that came, that was given to me to 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 do to do this type of thing mm -hmm. to be able to share this with the people, not just in the city of West Memphis, not just in the state of Arkansas, not just in the United States, but all over the world. And that's what's so awesome about how reaching our full potential. Uh, because you don't never reach it until that day you die, because that's right, all right, that you can right, do at that point. Right. So when I think about this thing and really realize what it, it takes for us 
to, to, to reach out, it means that you have to, you was talking about early imagination. Mm -hmm. See, with this thing, you can go even a whole lot further than what your imagination yeah. can ever bring forth. You really can. So what we look at and when we think about our imagination, our imagination is just small right. to what we can really reach. My imagination did not get me to doing something like this. Because I didn't imagine this. When, mm -hmm. when this, this happened, this wasn't something that was on my plate. This wasn't something that I was reaching for. Mm -hmm. but, but it came and reached for me. And that's what happens sometimes. We might think that I've reached my expectation, but your expectations haven't really reached you yet. Mm -hmm. The expectation that God may have for you, that other people may have for you, that, that, that just the world may put in your lap that you don't even know about. Things get put in your lap sometimes to take you beyond what your thoughts uh, or what your dreams were to, to thrust you on a stage or on a level that you would, your mindset just can't handle sometimes. Can I say something in there? Yeah. If, uh, one of the things that I hope uh, never lose the power of curiosity. Right. Uh, never let life's problems, people, problem, right. kill your curiosity. Exactly. Because it's your curiosity mm -hmm. that will take you from the status quo. Right. You know, when I got certified, and, 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 and even now, when I look at statements made by some of the world's top millionaires, mm -hmm. uh, they, they all say the same thing. Right. Uh, uh, yeah, I got an education, mm -hmm. and we talked about that a lot. Right. Unfortunately, our education system in many of our churches, I hate to say this, but it's true. Right. They don't teach you how to think. Right. They teach you what to think. So they're trying to put into you what they want into you. Right. Not to what can come out of you. Right. As a, a creative mind. Right. Sometimes we think that, that it's the education that's going to get us to where we need to be. No. But there are so many people that don't have much of an education. Right. That, that not, not that they are millionaires. And, no. And, and no. they ha own big corporations and a lot of things. So it's, it's not just an education. No. And, and we don't want people to ever think that you can get held back just because you don't have an education. No. Because, uh -uh. because no. with a creative mind. Right. A creative mind can take you far beyond wow. what uh, yeah. education can take right. you. Right. Because education is things that you've learned. Right. A, 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 a mind, a, a, your mind can take you beyond the wildest thought that you can get in a classroom. You know, we talk about it often, Napoleon Hill mm -hmm. and and the the group that he started with when he said, think right. and grow rich, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, your your capacity to think, and we're not necessarily talking about a lot of money here. Just just enjoying life. Mm -hmm. I mean, we all struggle. We all go through something, but you know, it 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 is when Paul says, "Forgetting those things which are behind, and 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 reaching forth to those things which are before." Now, only you can determine what's worth reaching for right. in your life. Mm -hmm. It may be peace. Right. Okay. And peace just don't come because you want it. Mm -hmm. And when you're talking about press toward the mark, everybody should, every, everybody's definition of success is different. You know? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 and so, but there is a mark, and you brought it up earlier, that we need to strive for. And we may not never get there. Mm -hmm. Uh, one writer said, it's, 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 it's not the destination, it's enjoying the journey. Mm -hmm. And if we can have that mindset, you know, just, hey, I'm enjoying the journey. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying learning. I'm right. enjoying experiencing life through other people, through right. other cultures, through other... Don't let uh, your current condition mm -hmm. define you. Right. How far you can go, right. what you can have. Right. I, you know, I was talking about the power of curiosity. I was, I'm, I'm mindful of this young lady who, she was a great uh, uh, infograph artist. Exactly. 
but she was doing something else and she went to this counselor mm -hmm. and uh, the counselor happened to come to her house and saw some of her artwork mm -hmm. and she's like why aren't you doing this as a profession right. I mean and and she said my parents said artwork is not a real doing art is not real work right and she said well what did they consider being real work you know like a doctor a lawyer the, the typical right. stuff right but their parents did not value her gift as an artist mm -hmm. to encourage her to say, I believe in what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So she saw no value in right. something that was just as natural to her as breathing. That held her back. You know, you, you said something interesting there. Because when I when I think about what you just said, her parents didn't see the value. In right, that. right. We have to understand that we can't let people... Determine what is valuable to us. Right. Determine right. what uh, our expectations for oh, life man. should be. Because oh, people man. will put us in things that we don't even like. No. We don't even desire. We don't places we don't even want to go and situations we don't even want to be in. So what we have to do is seek ourselves out first. Right. Seek ourselves out. Look. Look. Look beyond what other folks say. And sometimes you just have to turn other folks off. To, to in, in order to for your mind to to create what what you want to become where you want to go how you want to succeed success is not based on what other people try to put into you to try to direct you and to guide you to be all that they want you to be right but your success is based on on you internally and it'll come outwardly and it'll, it'll push forward. And, and for you know it, you'll be doing things way beyond what you could have ever even dreamed or thought of. And that's awesome. E.D., you know, you said a few minutes ago about being where we are currently right now. Mm -hmm. I've always dreamed to be able to sit down and do this and mm -hmm. share what we're sharing. Mm -hmm. Now, I didn't have any associates in my growing up circle, not to knock them, mm -hmm. that... You know, when I talk about stuff like that, you know, they laughed at it. Let me say this to each and every listener. Some of the greatest, uh, wealthiest people in the world would tell you it's two type of people that can hold you. It's three type of people that can hold you back from reaching beyond your expectation. Mm -hmm. Number one, you. Look in the mirror. Your biggest competition is you. Exactly. You sure right. Mm -hmm. Number two, yeah. family. Mm -hmm. And number three, friends. Right. Now, that is not to be little relationships. That's mm -hmm. not the intent. Because the only people that's going to understand you mm -hmm. is the people that's already doing what you want to do. Mm -hmm. They're already doing right. what you're called to do. And if they are successful, I promise you, 100% of the time, they've written books about it. Mm -hmm. And when they hit the New York Times bestseller, mm -hmm. listen, the scripture said, by wisdom. Right. And sell it or not. Mm -hmm. I am sitting today where I am because over the course of years, God has given me the grace and the wonderful support of a wife. I have built a library. I have lost more books through the flooding than most people have bought in their entire life. Mm -hmm. And I say that because I love reading. Right. I love learning. Mm -hmm. I, I love, I'm still, even though I'm 63, and I just got certified by John C. Maxwell uh, certification. I'm working with the West Memphis Police Department in leadership training, and we're getting ready to go over to 15 invaluable laws of personal growth. Mm -hmm. And law one is intentional growth. You have to be intentional right. about growing. Not mm -hmm. growing old. I'm talking about believing who you, as they say, the better version right. of who you really are. Mm -hmm. No job will determine that. Job gives you an opportunity right. to make a living. No, don't don't get, you know, hey, we all need a job. We all need to clock in and go somewhere. Mm -hmm. If you do nothing else out of life but have one of the most finest apartments on your street, you've done a mouthful. Mm -hmm. You know? And when people visit you, they take that tells them who you really are. And somebody will see that and say, you know what? I want to introduce you to such and such. You might have the gift of interior designership. No money to go to school. You don't know what door uh, God will open for you. 
Let me ask you this. Do do you do we think that our things make make us who we are or uh, 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 put us in the right place? Because I really don't think it's about the things that we acquire in life because things can get us sidetracked and we can get right. so caught up on things and material things that that we can't really reach our full potential because we're just seeking the material and, and not the things that and not in the direction right. that we should uh, be going. What is our appetite like? What 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 is that that we really want? Is it is it is it all we want is material things out of life? Is it is 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 all we want to do is to be able to brag on the things that we have? Is is is, is or is is this is this life just living on this earth at this time in this moment all for you? Is that all that you want? I I really think that. Um that answer has many nuances to it because people mm -hmm. won't listen to you right. if you have no things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> see, they can't see you and hear you. Some people won't. But but most that most that will say you inspire me because not just your talking, mm -hmm. you know, they're saying let leave a great talker in the street. Uh even Jesus had, like Jesus told them, uh, what Thomas, I won't believe until I can put my hand in the, in the in, in, in the hole in the side and in your palms and all that. And Jesus said, "Come here and touch me." Right. And 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 he instantly believed. He said, "You believe because you see." Right. Blessed are those that believe and have not yet seen. Right. And I know faith cometh by hearing. But it's more convincing right. when I can see what you're talking about versus mm -hmm. you just talking. Okay. So there is many nuances to that. And I know Jesus said, first, seek ye the kingdom of heaven and, and the righteousness of God. And these things shall be added unto you. He knows we need substance, material things. And he knows that we're not just content. We're living a life where we're just begging, not even begging for bread, but just bread alone. That's why, but 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 he understands that. You know what I'm saying? So it's not let the things become God. Don't let the things uh, become so important that they can. That that's what you're worshiping. Well, when you say that, don't let these things become your God. But if that's where your focus is, they are your God already. But so what we have to do is we have to have in life a checks and balance. And if we don't have a checks and balance, that's why I, me, myself, I like my relationship with God. Because that helps me to keep things in perspective to know that I am not uh, defined by things. Right. I can have a lot or I can have little. I can have nothing at all. And I've been in those situations where I, I've lost everything. Right. And I found that in those situations, in the in going through them circumstances, that it ain't the things that make make me who I am. Right. Right. It is 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 my character. It's my right. focus. It's who right. I believe in. Who I trust in. Who who I, I put uh, all my hope in. Those are the things that 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 define us and make us. Uh, and, and help us to to be able to achieve uh, what we want to what we need to achieve in life. I, I, I I've had to come to a conclusion. You can have to, uh, abundance today and loss tomorrow. Is that that make does that make people shy away from you because you don't have nothing? I, I don't think so. But I, I I think this and I believe this that if uh, you have good character. If you have a focus and if you have a drive, and that's what I when I go back and think about an appetite. What mm -hmm. is your appetite like? Right. You know, you, some people like certain foods. Well, when you when you're trying to to become uh, 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 reach your potential, you got to have an appetite to 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 reach out for those things to become all that you can be. And one of the one of the things too is. Um, in reaching beyond our expectation, and I think you and I, we talk about this all the time, and I, I really believe BBS Gospel Broadcast Station is a, is a fruit 
that God has given you that the world can taste. Because the ultimate thing is, is am I consuming this on my flesh? Mm -hmm. Just for me. Okay, you're a failure. Mm -hmm. You're a failure. I think about the scripture that talks about the rich man that built his barns and he had so much he had to build another barn. And then think about sharing with anybody. And he mm -hmm. says, oh, my soul is fat. And the Lord told him, you fool, tonight your soul is required of you. How does my reaching my expectation, how does and will others mm -hmm. benefit from what I do, from who I am? How will that, how will others benefit from that? Well, people will benefit when you That makes it. sense. Yeah, and, and people will benefit. I mean, that's I mean when I talk, when we talk success, that's what I mean. Right. Yeah, but there'll be the, how people are going to benefit from uh, you. Your reaching is the, number one. How you benefit is from seeing what someone else is doing, seeing how they are making it happen. Because if I see you, uh, so we're back to the sea in there. Yeah, you. you sometimes. Well, I'm just saying. Right. Yeah, I'm just saying. You know, you don't have to have a lot of money for no, people no, to no, see no, your character. No, no, no. It, no. it ain't about material things. What I'm talking about. Then when I see when I see somebody. I'm not looking at right, the right. things that they have. No, no. If, if you got good character, your character will take you further with me than, than what sure, your things sure, are. Because sure. you can have that today and gone tomorrow. Okay. You, know, you, can, you can be healthy today and, and have your, no sick, no health tomorrow. I didn't, I didn't right. been in that situation right. where right. I've, right. I've been sick and, and you can't work. And then well, what, what things going to get you in? But I still got my character. Oh, absolutely. I can still absolutely. reach beyond right, right. whether I have those things. Right, right, right. People can still see yeah. what's in me oh, I'm in agreement with and you. become more, more not to come uh, like me, but to have a desire to become to 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 push themselves beyond. Right. I'm gonna read this 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 uh Let me say this before you do that. Go ahead. You don't mind. And it and it and it and it and it revolves around character. Joyce Myers says, Your gift can take you where your character can't keep you. Mm -hmm. And I think that when a person of character like you're talking about the way they carry themselves, from dressing to how they do their business, is a great influence on people. When people can see that, they have something to say, especially if you, in quote unquote, come out of nowhere. I remember that guy when he, we laughed and said he would never accomplish anything. Now look, how did he do that? Mm -hmm. But it wasn't the clothes. Huh? It wasn't the clothes. Well, no. It wasn't how you dress. No, but I, I think I'm trying to say is that's a re, that that outer reflects who that's you what are. People looking at. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, yeah, but of the, course. That that really, when you look at it, far as substance wise, your clothes and me has no meaning. It has no value. Yeah, you no. know, it, it's the, it's good. It's, it can get a strike a match on it, burn up just like everything else. <laughs> you know, so, uh, and I, but I understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I didn't mean, I, I, I'm not going to apologize for interrupting you. Read it. I just, just, I, just I, I want to chime in on it. I, I've gotten to a point to where I don't get caught up into the material. I know you said. Uh, right. And, and I, I get what you're saying. I, I, the substance of, of what who I am and where I'm going and what I or what I'm reaching for has nothing at, at this point in my life. As as I've had had and I'm gonna say this have as I've had opportunity. To have cancer, and uh, I had to to realize my mortality. Right. I uh, had right. had knee replacements and different surgeries, and realized that I can only make it so far sure. on me. On you, I guess. So, you're so that. I, right. I reach beyond. I reach to 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 who I believe in, and which right. is my God. I reach beyond uh, and realize that there's certain things you have to do if you want to stay healthy. It, it's things you have to do. You know, just like now, I'm trying to get all this weight off me. You know, I, I've, I've gotten off over 70 pounds, but I still, me, to reach my reach the goals and expectations that I have, which I know God has more, I gotta, I have to lose another 70 pounds to where I will, because I, I, I found this out. Uh, I, I feel better, me. Right. Uh, the, the less I weigh, uh, 
sure. I feel better about myself. Sure. Sure. My it's less weight on my bones right. and it just right. make my body feel better. I just feel more comfortable. I can get clothes cheaper. It's just so many things <laughs> that you can look at. And I know we had to get ready to wind this up because we did about, about 35 minutes on this thing. But I, I'm, I'm going to just read this thing and I'm going to go on. It says, uh, he will take our weak mortal bodies and change them into glorious bodies like his own, using the same power which, which he will bring everything under control. You know, when I think about how, and, and I just think about God, how he will bring everything under control if you and I align ourselves with him and realize he is the one Absolutely. that gives us our strength, yes. gives us our power, Absolutely. take us to our place where we need to go, make us be the being that he wants us to be. And I'm not just saying that you just have to be a Christian to reach expectations. Oh, I know. Yeah. But, I'm agree with you. But I found this for me in this point in my life. I I'm glad that I am. Right. So it's right. it's a good thing for me. Uh, but we're gonna get ready to wind this up. We all we we kicking 37 minutes and we had planned on 15, 20. So <laughs> but um you got anything you want to say in closing, uh, and then I'll come back and give our closing remarks and we'll get out of here. We just want to encourage each and every uh, listener. Uh, the scripture says, lift up your heads, mm -hmm. O ye gates, mm -hmm. and let the king of glory come into your lives. Right. God cares for you. I heard a song. I never heard it before. And a young lady sung it. And boy, it's just been ringing in my heart ever since. He knows my name. Okay. And... Uh, if I can leave you with anything today and tell you what an honor and privilege it is to have this opportunity to speak into your hearts and speak into your lives. As the Lord told Jeremiah, go down to the potter's house and there, there I will cause you to hear my word. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to be willing to go beyond where you are so God can show you a work that he wants to do in your life and Dr. Bruce Smith said it earlier, and I thought about this scripture. He that began a good work in you shall perform that work until the day of Jesus Christ. So you may have fallen away from the Lord or may have not even dotted the church door in years. I want to say to you, encourage you, and the scripture say, acknowledge him in all that ways, and he'll direct your path. And that's, that's all I want to say right now. All right, we're going to get ready to close this thing out. We thank you for tuning in today. We thank you, uh, uh, Pastor Miles, for coming in to studio today and being part of this uh, podcast. Uh, I am just uh, so excited to be back on the air, and there's been so many things going on that uh, uh, prevented us from getting on the air. But uh, uh, we're going to tune out. We just want to say thank you, uh, thank you, thank you for being part of it and for taking us uh, where you want us uh, or you want to go as people because uh, we all have a place that we want to go and we need to go and I just want to say thank you I just want to say thank you and I want to say thank you and thank you again this is Bruce uh, Smith uh, from BBS Gospel uh, Broadcast Station uh, and the host of uh, Nothing But The Raw Truth podcast. And we will see you soon. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. And you be blessed.